How many of you know painted red? That's nothing to be ashamed of. This next song, um, I'll never forget being out here in California about nine, nine years ago. And I was in my hotel room after a show and I called home and um, I was talking to my wife Lori and my son Red at the time. It was just Red. Now we have two little girls that followed him. But uh, Red was four years old and I'll never forget. Right before we hung up the phone, Red says, Daddy, when are you coming home? And um, you don't know what song I'm talking about. Not finished. But, um, you know, that little squeaky voice, uh, I'll never forget him saying that. And um, now that little four-year-old is uh, 13 with armpit hair, and it's really scary. Yeah, and he's almost taller than I am, and he beats me at basketball, and they grow up really fast, don't they? But, you know, the thing about this song is that... Um, you know, we lived it every day on the road in, in our job that we, that we do and what we do now. But I know there's a lot of other families who go through the same situation that uh, have to provide for their families and uh, have to be away from their families. So uh, to you, I want to send a song out to you and any of the men and women in the military that are fighting for freedom.
Thank you so much. No, they don't still paint my toenails because uh, the problem with my toenails is that, um, well, Molly, Molly's the one who likes to paint toenails in our house, and she's the one who does the, you know, she massages the feet and everything, but uh, when Molly gets to my feet, she says, I don't think so. I mean, they're not pretty feet. <laughs> I'm just saying. I wish I had pretty feet, but I don't, because uh, 